Hello and welcome to Ubi.Dots Academy. In this user guide, we will be discussing how to configure Slack events in order to keep your team informed using sensor data that's being sent to the Ubi.Dots platform. Let's quickly take a look at how to configure this Slack event and how you can extract value directly from the sensor data being sent to Ubi.Dots. Upon logging into your Ubi.Dots account, you'll be immediately directed to any available dashboards. In this case, we're being directed to an office monitor dashboard, in which case I'm monitoring both the Fahrenheit and Celsius of our office, as well as both the light and sound presence. Some days you can see are pretty exciting, some days not so much. But nonetheless, let's definitely direct our attention to what I have set up here, which is the Slack simulator. This is just a simple control widget that's sending dummy data anytime that I select and move the widget. This is going to go ahead and send individual data points, or what we refer to as dots, to the UbiDots platform. Once I set this data above the threshold, which you'll note here, I've already created an event, and you can see the threshold being at 85, I receive an event sent to the general channel stating that the Slack simulation data had exceeded the threshold. Now, what's really interesting is how you create this event. To do so, we're going to go to the event section of the UbiDots account, here you can see the event I've already got created, but we're going to create a new one for the purpose of this demo. So let's slide over and click the plus icon. We're going to add the variable, which in this case is from my device, which is office, the variable being the Slack simulation data. And we're going to save that. We're going to select greater than or equal to. In this case, it's greater than or equal to for the purpose of my demo, but you can select anything that as you see fit, less than or equal, equal to, blah, blah, blah. So. I'm going to set my event to 90. So anytime the threshold of 90 is exceeded, I'll receive an event. Please remember that when an event is tripped in UbiDots, any data that flows through the threshold must also fall back below it in order for a second event to be sent. Let's start creating our event. Once I have the event trigger set, I'm going to create the actions. And in this case, the action is going to be the Slack event and I'm gonna be able to create different things for that Slack event, like the bot name, in this case, Ubi bot name. I can send emojis with that particular icon. Uh, an emoji, just to give you a reference, would look a little something like this, where you, I've got my example name, I've got the emoji, I've got the text, and the text is pretty great as it can say exactly what you need it to. My sample event that I sent earlier in this video, I sent way to go team, but in this one I'm gonna say, Ubi.Dots developers rock. And I'm going to send that, as always, with the winky face. So I'd like to send this to the general channel, just to make sure that the whole team is informed. And in order for that to work, I need to set up and configure this webhook URL. In order to configure the webhook URL, we're going to slide over to our Slack account. Here I've got a Slack account already set up, and we're going to create the app. In order to do so, we're going to select apps, and once on this page, we're going to type webhook. Once we get the webhook, we need to be installing the incoming webhook specifically. So let's see what that looks like. Once we've clicked install webhook, it's time to add the configuration for the Slack backend in order to communicate with UbiDots. So let's go ahead and do so. So we'll add the configuration, and here is where the magic takes place. Here you can see we get to select from our available channels. This being a demo account, we're only using a few available channels, but I'm going to send to general. Please be sure to note that in the event for your Slack event, you need to also select to a channel, and these must be spelled the same way. Hashtag general, and in my configuration, hashtag general. So let's set up the integration now. Once added, the new integration bar will be displayed, verifying that you've done everything complete on the Slack backend. But now let's make sure that UbiDots is set up correctly. So we'll pull this webhook URL, it can be copy and pasted directly into your UbiDots event. By pasting this here, we've now integrated the UbiDots development platform directly into your Slack account. So you complete your message here. In my case, UbiDots developers do rock. And I'll save my event. I'll verify the times that it needs to be sent. In this case, 24-7. If you ever want to choose days that it's not going to be tripped, be sure to deactivate them by changing from blue to white. And you can establish a time zone here. Uh, in this case, we're going to just trip everything during the weekdays. And you save the event. Here you can see I've got my two events. The first one, which was created in order to 
notify the beginning of this tutorial and the second one which is created at 90 which is going to be able to show me the value once we start to move our event. So here we're going to move our data below the threshold which again is at 90 and by doing so I'm going to quickly trip my event here at 92 at which point you see I receive a notification. Once I receive that notification if I come to my UbiDots account I can see quickly that the integration was added and hey there Slack simulation data was at 92 specifically on September 5th which is today and UbiDots developers rock. Always having the emoji and the name, in this case ubi.name, which we know matches exactly to the event. So, just like that, I was able to quickly set up and integrate data directly from the ubi.s platform directly into Slack based on sensor data. Now it's your turn to get to it and deploy solutions intelligently to keep your team informed. I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If so, be sure to keep your team updated with the latest and greatest coming from ubi.s by subscribing to our channel. If you find this video helpful and you, or you still have some questions, go ahead and let our team know at support at ubidots.com and keep us up to date with some of the problems that you face in your everyday world and we'll continue to make videos to help improve them. Thank you very much for joining me today at the UbiDots Academy and we'll see you next time.